right, let's jump into our next hour. And my favorite coin geek is joining me. And we have such a cool hour. I just want to give you a little peek. We have something coming up that I can't wait to hear about. And it's got the name Fuji on it. And you're like, wait a minute, what does that have to do with what? Well, stick around because these are absolutely incredible. It is a huge set and it's called the Fuji Fractional Set of Four Coins. So we'll tell you the story in a bit. Also, this is something that I'm gonna tease. We have a coin coming up that was only used during World War II. Now, I've been on doing this show for 18 years with Mike Mizak, who you're about to meet, and I've, I didn't even know there was a coin that was only used during World War II. So stick around to find about that about that as well. Hi, Mike. How you doing? I, I love the show. Yeah, we've like, got a lot of cool stuff. Really cool stuff. I guess we're starting over here. We're going to talk yeah, about sure. Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen Elizabeth, who we all loved so dearly. Yeah. And Mike, welcome. Uh, thank you for coming back. Sure. Um, last time I saw you, you were, I think, heading to a big coin show. Yeah. Was it the Orlando one? Yeah, Orlando. Yeah, how'd it show. go? Fun show, good, always good. They always say, they call the coin show the fun show, which I think is kind of funny. Florida United Numismatists. Oh, got it, okay. <laughs> It's fun. Fun it I'm sure it's fun. All right, did you find any, you, wait, just tell me, did you find any really cool things like somebody we had We found hidden? some fun things. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, some all cool right. stuff. A lot of which we've already sold. I've, oh, thanks. I've <laughs> I appreciate I, it. I find it, it goes. Uh, yes, well, that's find true. Find it, it's gone. And you know find what, it, I will tell you as we head into this hour, and we got to talk about this, but it's what I love about Mike. Literally, the show will change within a half, I'll be on the air, and he's changing the show because you'll find something really cool. He gets a phone call at the last minute and says, yeah, we can make that happen. So the coin shows you always have to tune in and expect the unexpected like this one this is neat well we just got this in this is the official change of of coinage in england right made by the royal mint okay so it, and just funny so we talk about the royal mint uh being the official minter of 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 royal coins uh they've only been doing it since 1282 so only you know like eight <laughs> They're new 800 to it. years. They're yeah. new to uh, it, not, you know. Not quite a millennia. But, uh, <laughs> Have I they mean, always featured whoever <laughs> is the... Yeah, the, the king. That's the whole idea. So, for how many years? Uh, 750 years. No kidding. Yeah, and there's actually every one of their coins at some point during the year has to be inspected by the... the Queen or King's Remembrancer is what it's called to make sure that they all weigh right so that nobody's stealing any silver or copper or whatever it Have is. Have you ever seen the original one? It's 800 what? years old? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, just collect English coins. Really? Yeah, sure. That's so cool. They're out there all the time. But this is the official one. So you have Queen Elizabeth, and this is her very first portrait and her very last portrait that you see right there. That's Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Aww. And you can see right there, as it says, it's, it's her uh, uh, 1926 to 2022. And then down here, this is now King Charles III. So that's the obverse and the reverse. Yes. So it is the official coin because it has both of the regents on it. If Would you this will. be considered the last and then the first? The, the last and the first on the same coin. Oh, gotcha. You see, so so this is the same coin as you can see. Oh, how cool is you that? You see, so this is what it is. So here is your whole full coin thing. Oh, so it tells you the story as well. The oh, story of everything so cool. about the queen, and here's then the brand new king is a, a, a promise, and then you have the whole. It's all right in there, and then you have you know all the all the, the stuff right here. The certificate of authenticity is on the is on the package itself. Yours comes without all the HSN barcodes over <laughs> yes. here. Free of the barcodes. <laughs> yeah, free well, of the barcodes. Well, and tell me, what is this, this in terms of money? What, what, what is it? I think is it's it? a two-pound uh, coin, two if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, five pounds. Oh, five pounds. Oh, cool. Five pounds. So it's a... Uh, Used to be a ten dollar coin. Now it's about a six dollar coin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it's it's just the way it is. So you get that like that. So there is the king side of the coin. There's the queen side of the coin, and that's just the way it works. That's awesome. All Isn't right, that and, cool? Yeah, and this is twenty nine ninety five. And yeah. for those of you, because I will say I love following the whole royal story, and I loved Queen Elizabeth personally. I think it's a really neat gift to give. I think it's a wonderful collectible. And there are people who specifically collect this genre of coins. Correct. A hundred percent. But the problem is, if you're collecting just kings and queens, it's been 70 years since. Well, well that's I how long she was that. on. Of course, she was on. The she was on the coin for 70 before years before they changed the coin. Now she had oh, a couple of different effigies. As she aged, they kind of changed the effigy on the coin a little bit. Right. But she's been on the coin for 70 years. So my whole life, she was the only person that was on any coin made by the royal mint. And so what's interesting is, so this is kind of seismic when it comes to the deal. coin world. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, first time in most all of our lifetimes that there's been a change in, in, That's true. in the coin. Right, isn't that fun? And all right, guys, we're King not going to spend much more time on it. I just want to get to it real quick. Really affordable way to start your coin collection, or if you're like me, you're just a huge fan of anything to do with the royal family, then uh, that's kind of near and dear to my heart, by the way. All right, $29.95, we do have three flex on this. Hey, by the way, as we move on, um, I just want to mention, we have brand new shipping deals that we're doing, and I'm really happy about this. I'm thrilled. Every single day now, if you spend less than $75, you will spend no more than $6 bills to get all your orders shipped to you. If you spend over $75, everything flips to free shipping, and then it resets itself at midnight to the next day. That is seismic, as you like to say. Mm -hmm. We have Indeed. crossed the Rubicon is one of his other favorite sayings when it comes to no shipping. No going back. Sheeping no going back on this. No I love that. On. Isn't that fun? Isn't that yeah. exciting? So the thing is, get a whole bunch of coins today because you save a ton of money in shipping. <laughs> okay, now this is a slightly different set. Okay. That coin is the official coin, but it's five pounds and it's done in what's called a, a copper nickel. Okay, it's what's called a clad coin, so it's copper and manganese and brass, and it's all, you know, just like U.S. coinage now. These are different. These are the Royal Mint coins in what are called the Britannia, and these are solid silver. Ooh, wow. Okay, so, so you've got, so you have three ounces of pure silver in this. So we have three coins in this Monarch collection that you have right here. And the reason we have these is what Queen Elizabeth passed in 2022. So we assumed that the 2022 Britannia would be the final Britannia, would be the final Britannia that was ever made. And so, uh, and we said it as such, that it was, was the final one. Well, what happened was, is there was no King Charles ready to go for 2023. <laughs> And the reason was he refused to do his portrait while his mother was still alive. Aww, okay, so lovely. he waited. So there was this gap and there were, they were out of Britannia's. So they had a very small, very, very small production of 2023 Queen Elizabeth's, even though she'd, she'd already uh, passed and technically wasn't supposed to be on the coin, but they started making these in 2022 for about 13 or 14 days just before she died. No kidding. Yes, so they had already made those, so because they were trying to melt it. it do but Charles had made it clear he was not going to. A hundred percent. So they knew it, okay. So they were saying, should we melt them? Should we release them? They decided to release them. So there's a very small mintage of the 2023. So that's why we put both of those in. And then finally, we have the brand new uh, uh, Charles coin as well. Now, the real cool thing about this is look at this packaging that's that we've done. Beautiful. I just want you to hold that. Ooh. It, <gasps> isn't that oh, nice? That's, I mean, so that's nice. like a high-end jewelry box. It yes. is has the, what we call the puff top. That's uh, gorgeous. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Ooh, that's beautiful, Mike. That turned out great. Yeah, didn't that turn out nice? Yeah, I think it's excellent. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. I want to see the, oh, is that uh, the back yeah, side over here? that's the back side, okay. yeah. Well, that's the Britannia. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's the official silver coin is what that is, is the Britannia, which they've made since 1987. Mm -hmm. uh, they've made the Britannia. One of the cool things is, is if you look at, the, at this and the back is the same on all these, and I want to kind of, if you can get in there, right there, there's a little tiny, there's just a little tiny thing right there. And you notice right there, if I turn it this way, it's a trident. If I turn it this way, it's a lock. <laughs> Uh, oh, how cool is that? It's an anti-counterfeiting technique. They use it, what's called lenticular minting, <laughs> so that it's it's literally minted at different angles, so it looks at different things as you as you look that's from side wild. to side. Isn't that cool? That's so that's cool. the official one pure ounce of silver. So you get three ounces of silver. You get the custom box. Of course, sold out, limited edition, sold out, limited edition. And then the King Charles is just starting. Of course, it is immensely popular around the world. Let me ask you, how do regular Joe Schmoes like me, how do we even get our hands on this? Because, again, Again, thanks to you, we get this kind of thing. <laughs> well, it's harder than it's harder than you think because these are made in, in England. They're right, made at the right. Royal Mint. So where do you even begin so, then? So, well, you know, you, you can search around on the intranets if you like. Yes. Uh, you know. On the Google. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, if, if look, if you ever uh, you know bought stuff out there uh, on uh, on the internet. Understand it's the Wild West out there for coins. You might get your coins, you might not get your coins. I don't know, you might be shit. You, you have no idea what it is. The thing is, is right here, you know exactly what you're gonna get. See those cool swirly lines around what Queen Elizabeth? That? That's also anti-counterfeiting technology. That's so interesting. Because they're worried about counterfeits, particularly with these coins as you change monarchs with this. Isn't that spectacular? Look at that. And so there's Queen Elizabeth, two pound coins is the face value on these. 
that you're going to have. Each one is solid silver, so you get uh, uh, three ounces of pure silver that's within this. So that's a quarter of a troy pound okay. that you're going to have with this. So these are absolutely positively stunning in terms of the packaging. Each one comes in its own individual airtight holder. Well, and I'd love you to explain why it's so important to get last, very last and first. Well, everybody, everybody collects the bookends. I mean, you know, if well, you're... Well, a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah, like, so you collect the first and last of any coin, what we call the bookends of a coin. So if you're collecting the Lincoln cents, you want the 1909, the very first one. And then you're going to want 1959, which is the last of the wheat pennies. And then, you know, then you want the, the memorial pennies. And then you want that up to 2009. So, I mean, you know, you want those coins for sure. And, you know, you try to fill in in the middle. Well, for Britannias, they've only ever been made with the Queen Elizabeth because mm -hmm. they didn't start them until 1987. And, of course, she's been around for... Uh, for 70 years, so she 100% got that, uh, 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 was with that. So for the very first time in my lifetime, they have changed the region. And it's not just the Royal Mint, it's all the Commonwealth and everything else as oh, well. Yeah. So I mean, you know, as you see, we have the uh, Fiji fractionals coming up uh, uh, that you're going to have with that. That, of course, is gonna have Queen Elizabeth on it because those, uh, uh, those were made then. And so the next batch is gonna have King Charles on them. And right. so it's, it's, it's truly, truly, truly amazing what we've done now that we have the official King Charles portrait, everything is going to come with King Charles. So that changes the game right there. So he's going to be on all that coinage going forward. Right. Until, of right. course, it's William. You right. Know? right. So, uh, you know, and that's uh, that's that's the way it goes. Right. So, like I said, so for the first time in our lifetime, it, it, we've changed, we've changed uh, uh, from the queen to the king. And if you also notice when you change, OK, look at look at both coins at the same time. They face different ways every time they change. Oh, wait, here, guys, so you're saying look so at their look last at the one, Queen Elizabeth, and then the first okay. of Charles. Okay, Queen Elizabeth's looking this way, and then King Charles is looking this way. <laughs> when William goes on, he'll look that way. Where Elizabeth used to. Where Elizabeth, because they alternate between. Isn't the, that the way interesting? The, the, the way the effigy, what, and their portrait is called the effigy. Okay. Uh, so when the effigy, so when the, when the monarch changes, the, the direction of the F is, that's right. All these, I mean, you know, and of course, you know, all the multitudinous regulations of, of the regency, you know, and the monarchy is just, you know, it's arcane to the, to the <laughs> smallest detail. This was probably written in, you know, 1643, you know, you kind of look what the other way or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I exactly. Know. I don't know. Well, uh, and again, so if I were trying to find these, especially you're trying to find all three, again, it's kind of arduous for us to be able to well, do it. Well, because these are sold out, long sold out, and bringing big premiums those to the are, marketplace in 2022s, gone. which everybody thought was the last coin. And then, of course, these are sold out and bringing even larger was premiums. That a this was a super surprise. S super surprise. We had no idea. Okay. Because uh, when she passed, they had, the Britannias, uh, uh, the, the Royal Mint makes the 2023s in 2022. They start selling 2023s at the end of 2022. Okay. Okay. Unlike us, isn't that interesting? Unlike us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't release till, till the very first of the year. That's right. by, by law, by the Act of Congress. Right. Well, this right here, they had already started making hers when she had passed. And they had to decide whether they are going to melt it or release it. They decided to release a few because they didn't have Charles' effigy yet. Ready and they didn't want to be out of Britannia's. Right, right. Isn't that fascinating? So again, the, all three you get in the collection. Plus, I love the box. The box yeah. is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Uh, One seventy four ninety five. Again, FlexPay makes it easy on the budget. If you're collecting this, this is your resource to find these unique coins. By the way, okay, I've got this question I want to ask you, Mike. What do you think right now is the most unique coin, most expensive, rarest, whatever that you're showing on HSN.com right now? Oh, I don't, I don't have any idea because it changes. We have a thousand <laughs> things on there that changes every day. What do you think is one of the really cool collectibles then? Just I think one I would go with the nineteen eighty six Min State seventy silver. Eagle, while we still have about a dozen and a half, I think it's nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yeah, the very you first have Silver the Eagle in Min State seventy. In seventy. <clears throat> in oh. Min State seventy. Yeah, I think we have that on there. We have uh, maybe two dozen, one, one or two dozen. That's final quality. Okay, repeat on it once again. Nineteen eighty-six Silver Eagle, Min State seventy. 70. That's great. And that was the first of the Silver Eagles, mm -hmm. which is huge. Again, we've talked about the first and the last and the goodies in between. Get that first while we still have it available. That's kind of fun to get that back in there. <coughs> now, yeah, this so. is so interesting. When was Sacagawea first launched? Mm -hmm. That whole story. Yeah, 2000. 
2000. Okay, <coughs> so you the and United I States have government. been together <coughs> for me. that. And I have to tell you, I was really thrilled to see this new configuration. Yeah, and I was here in 2000 launching that coin. Right, you, know, you were. We, yeah, I, I was I here too. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, uh, that was a big deal. Uh, the United States government desperately wants us to use a dollar coin instead of a dollar bill. Dollar bills last on average about 16 months. Uh, a dollar coin will last forever. But Americans, we'll have, we're having none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Push Unless off. they forcibly stop making dollar bills, we're never spending dollar coins. Right. Okay, just like just like pennies. Unless they, they're of no use whatsoever right. in commerce. <laughs> they cost the government millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars just to make the pennies. So, <clears throat> but they started making these Sacagawea gold dollars. And in 2000, when they first released them, they were relatively popular. They were released into circulation. But right away, they found out, once again, Americans aren't going to do it. So they keep making them. By law, they have to keep making the Sacagawea golden dollar. And so from 2000 to 2008, they make the Sacagawea uh, golden dollar. It has a beautiful... Uh, reverse, let me take one of these coins out, I'll show you the reverse of those first coins. That's the reverse, the eagle reverse that you see there. And that's on from 2000 to 2008. Okay. And so starting in 2009, they said, look, we got to make these coins every year. We're not releasing them into circulation, so let's make them collectible so it's not just the same thing. So they changed it into from the Sacagawea golden dollar to the technical name of it starting in 2009 is the Native American dollar. Because then what they do is Sacagawea is on the obverse of every one of these coins, but the reverse is a rotating design every single solitary year. Every single solitary year. They add this. So this one's called corn planter and they go through all of these Native American uh, things. There's the code talkers from World War II that you're going to have uh, right down here. You've seen that, you've probably heard about the uh, the movie that they did, the code talkers that was right there. They did the Mohawk steel workers. They did, uh, they did all these ones. Well, this one includes the brand new 2023 coin. One of my favorite stories right there, which is if you go down to that, that is Maria Tallchief. She's a ballerina. She was America's first principal ballerina in the world. Wow. As a matter of fact, she had to go to France, actually, to, to kind of get her career going because in the United States, that just really did, wasn't working out at the time. Right. But her, she became the first principal ballerina, really? American ballerina in the world. She was world-renowned oh, as, wow. as one of the greatest ballerinas in the world uh, many, many, many years ago. And her sisters went on to become principal ballerinas as well. Oh, man. So that's <clears throat> Maria Tallchief, which just came out that you see uh, that you see right there. So every single year from 2009 now to 2023, you have a different Native American theme in that. Well, this is the complete set. 24 coins for $179.95, for $179.95. And I'm looking at this like some of these, these early coins up here, I mean, these are like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars a piece just for these coins in brilliant uncirculated condition. Wow. So, I mean, you know, that, that's what's. what it starts what, to add up pretty quickly. Because none of these from 2002 on were ever released into circulation. So oh, in other words, right. they were only they were made sort of in tiny little quantities additions. in bags and rolls. Really? They're all completely sold out. Good luck finding a complete set. And yeah, because I just think this last one is such a cool story. But again, super limited edition. Super limited editions on these. Uh, literally in the hundreds of thousands. So one of some of the rarest coins ever made by the United States men. Because they're not made for circulation. Right. They still have literally in the vaults all the, 20, uh, the 2000s and 20, uh, 2001s. <laughs> so if a bank calls and gets Sacagawea is they're going to get 2,000. They're going to get these Because <laughs> they have millions of those. They, they have millions, <laughs> tens of millions of those. I, mean, I think in 2000, they made 122 million of them or something like oh that. Oh, my goodness. So that's good for like ever, <laughs> yeah, unless right. we stop making dollar bills. Right. But until, so after this, they became to some degree ceremonial. So they're never released into circulation. You only have to buy them directly from the mint in like bags and rolls. You can't buy any single coins. Really? They're not, no, they're not available. So you have to buy a roll of these, which is like 50 bucks. So while you have people that break these open and sell them, if you put this together yourself, you're going to have to spend basically 50 bucks a coin because you could buy an original rolls. Right, you have to buy a Pull full one roll coin to out, get and it. what are you going to do? Yeah. And then can you, can... you go back and get some of these original ones? Not are from they... the mint. Right. No, you have to buy those right? all in the secondary markets. Right. Some of these could be 100 a roll, 125 a roll, you know, because right. that's the only way to get them. Right. Then we have each one of these coins in an individual airtight holder. That's 59 cents. So you have 60 cents. It doesn't seem like much, but 60 cents times 24 is 12 bucks. Right. Then you add the box, which is 20 bucks. All of a sudden, you got 30 bucks 
bucks here. So now at the end of the day, you know, you're $150. You know, you're basically six bucks a coin. How did you find this um, this configuration? Because oh, that's hard to pull all this together. Well, we just, you know, we, <clears throat> we literally Get buy 20 of these and 30 of these and 80 of these and 20 of these. And when I have enough, I put them in a box and we, we come out here but and sell them. Isn't that fascinating, <laughs> though? Because you and I could never be able to pull that off. I also think this is really neat if you want to talk about history. You know, for me, a lot of the coins that I collect, um, I do them for obviously what I hope is going to be the value down the road. But the flip side to this, I think it is a wonderful walk through history. And it's such a cool way to be able to tell really important stories behind that. So if you are giving, whether you're a collector or you say, you know what, I want to get somebody excited about coins or more excited about learning about history, certainly about Native American history, I think this is a beautiful set. I really do. This kind of touches. And it's complete from 2000 yeah, to 2023. Which you and I can't hardly figure that this out. This is a quarter <laughs> century of coins. Yeah, I follow, you know, That's social media and all, and I, someone, I was following someone on social media, and there was a post, and it was, um, uh, uh, someone said, why they stop making the Sacagawea uh, a golden dollar in 2008? It was such a beautiful coin. And, and my response was, well, they keep making it. It's just that Sacagawea has been on the coin for 25 years, but it has now a different Native American reverse every single solitaire year. It's only about 100 times cooler. And they're like, oh, well, thank you. I had no idea because they'd never even heard and, of it. And After 2008, it. nobody had even seen any of these coins. Well, now not only do you see them, you have the complete collection. And if you look out there to look at complete collection, Susan B. Anthony dollars, which is like 16 coins, is going to be more than this. Right. Okay, I think we sell those for, I think it's actually about the same price, but it's 16 coins instead of 24 coins. Right. You look at a Kennedy half dollar set right now. If I do a complete Kennedy half dollar set, it's $2,000 or $3,000 wow. for a Kennedy half dollar set. Oh now it's like 168 coins or something like that. Right. But still, I mean, you know, what I'm talking about is to get a complete collection that is individually encapsulized, that's in the steel case presentation box that you're going to have so that it is absolutely protected for years to come, absolutely complete through 2023. Every coin ge gem brilliant uncirculated, as you can see right here. It's a truly stunning and complete collection. And something else I want to point mm. out too is you don't use coins that look bad. No. Like you Individually so hand selected, every single coin. Everyone, I think that's really important because think about the first, those original coins have been around for, what did you say, 25 years, 20 mm -hmm. years? Yeah, right. 24. This is the 24th 24 edition. 24 years, okay. Yeah. So think about a coin that's been around. Some of them have been, not this, but some have been circulated, right? They're, and, or, and also, they could have been in the encapsulated things, mm -hmm. but still have gotten and look bad. Mike won't put that in your collection, right. which I love that. And I think it's a very minute point, but I think it's an important point. Yeah, 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 well... We curate each one of these as if this is going into my own collection, is really what it comes down to. Right. So every one of these coins is individually hand-selected to ensure absolutely complete, brilliant, uncirculated. Brilliant, uncirculated, every single coin's brilliant, uncirculated. I mean, it hasn't every been in a pocket. From 20 to tw <laughs> 2000 to 2023, 24 coins total. Like I said, all individually encapsulated. Uh, and wait, uh, I do have a question. Will this program continue? Like it has to continue forever yeah. and ever? Well, okay. not well until the Congress so stops Chris it. Said there's not going to. Okay. Now, understand. And they have stopped release. They haven't released them to the public in two decades. Right. So you get a really unique collection with that. And by the way, we have less than 500 available of that set. Oh, thank you very much, Rick, for doing that. Hey, guys, if you don't know, I've got a really cool show that's on Facebook only on Tuesday nights. It's going to be at 8 p.m. this Tuesday. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you who join me every Tuesday night on Facebook. And I have thousands and thousands of people who watch it and replay. This week's theme is Spring in 3D. It's called My Tech. Technique Tuesday, where I really feature a lot of what I hope you love, really cool techniques. Um, I kind of take our products and take them to hopefully a different level and the usual uses for them. So please join me. That is Tuesday at 8 p.m. It is on Facebook only. It's the only place you can watch it, and I hope you'll join me. Also, please join my page. Um, I've got on HSN. If you go to my Facebook page, Suzanne Runyon on HSN, then you'll see where to click in to join us for that fun show and more. All right, um, definitely don't forget about our HSN card. Ooh, this is the best time to get it. Here's what we're doing right now. You're going to save $50 on the first item you buy from us if you're new to the card. So check out all the details on hsn.com. Coming up, oh, is this it? The Fiji one? Yes, stick Fiji around. Fiji fractional. Fiji what? Fractional. Fractional. <laughs> My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's 
not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. If you love to create, cook, and entertain, watch Great Gatherings, a 24-hour feast featuring tips and tricks from chefs Curtis Stone and Emeril Lagasse with mouth-watering food and more, including the premieres of Lydia's Kitchen by chef Lydia Bastianich and August and Leo Tabletop by Juliana Rancic. Gather round the table for Great Gatherings all day Friday, March 3rd on HSN and hsn.com. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our gemstone enhancement chart. Mizak is here. I'm Suzanne Runyon. Do not wait. Do not wait. Do not wait. Mike and I, during the break, I say, Mike, I'm so excited to hear the story. The coins are gorgeous. And he said, Suze, it's aired one time. And I'll let you know, we're down to the final 400. So the countdown is on. You had it on one time. Why has it been so wildly popular? <laughs> it, it's a, it's a longish story. Okay, so okay. fortunately, we have some time. We got the time. We have the time. <laughs> so here's what happened. This is a coin, and, and I, I said it last year when we sold the Morgan and Peace silver dollars. Fiji to the rescue. I never thought I'd say that, but it's 100% true. The United States Mint, look, we're, we're one of the largest distributors of the United States Mint, okay? They have symposiums with these. There's a dozen or a dozen and a half of us that they talk to, okay, and say, you know, what about this? What about this? You know, we're part of the advanced release program, all those other things. And they said, what if we did a fractional set of American Silver Eagles? And they asked us that almost 10 years ago. And we said, OK. They said, how many would you buy? They said, how many would you make? They said, 50,000. I said, well, I would buy 50,000. And they go, really? You yeah, buy the buy whole them. run. I'd buy the whole run. And of course, every other one of the 14 guys in the room said, I'll buy 50,000. I'll buy 50,000. <laughs> Everybody would buy 50,000. Because wow. they make fractional gold eagles. You know, we have the 50, the 25, yeah, the 10, 10, the 5. Yeah, right. They did a fractional gold buffalo series in 2008. That's like a $20,000 set now for those oh four coins. Gosh. So it's crazy. So for years, literally the better part of a decade, every single solitary year they have promised that they're going to try to make the fractional the Silver Eagle set. Well, over the last two to three years, the United States, they can't get enough, they, they can't get enough silver to do the regular Silver Eagles. Right. So they can't get the blanks for the fractionals any more than they can get the blanks for the regular Silver Eagles. <laughs> they're 20 million short on those. Wow. So they're not making these. So finally we said enough is enough. So Fiji spends dollars. So they said, can we make silver dollars? Fiji, they said, yes. What? And so we went and we did 10,000 sets. Okay, now if you remember last year, we did the Morgan and the Peace silver dollar. Yes. The government was supposed to. Same thing, government was supposed to. They didn't, and once they do, I don't have to do it anymore. But we did the Morgan and the Peace silver dollar last year. I think we sold it here for $4.99. I think those sets are six, seven, eight hundred dollars now. Oh I mean, they're just going crazy in the marketplace. So what we've got right here is we did the fractional set that the United States government should have made. And hopefully, hopefully they will do it after we do this. So we don't have to do this. I don't want to do this. I want them to do But it's considered? Well, it's a, so it's a silver eagle design, the same exact design as the United States silver eagle, which we're allowed to do. And on the back, it's the same reverse design as the original heraldic eagle designed by John Mercanti. But of course, it has to have the Fiji counter stamp. Now, see, Fiji spends dollars, so it's the same thing. You know, one ounce pure silver, one dollar, <laughs> says cool. Fiji up there. I get that. But there's only 10,000. It's been written up in all the major coin publications. People are fist fighting to get these sets. Oh I feel anywhere between 10 to 15 calls a day with people saying, can you wholesale some of these to me? And I go, no. <laughs> and not only that, but Annex first day of issue is only available right here. 
It's only available on HSN. So, cool. so this set, you could, so we sold this about a week ago. Already there's gonna be people that are out there trying to sell these for $6.99, $7.99, $8, whatever it is. Because this is the sole source. This is the sole source no of these fractional No one sources. else but you and uh, us. Can do the annex first day of issue. Uh, okay, <laughs> first day of issue. That's really cool. So, you know, so we, we've got, so now I did 10,000 sets on graded uncertified. Oh, okay, got okay, it. So okay, so that's that's the, the entire universe. Now, when the United States government makes these, and we hope, 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 listening to us, listen to us, please, we hope they make them next year. They'll make 150,000 sets. Which is still very small. The price is going to start at two or three thousand dollars. I just guarantee that. Because the they've never first of all, ever they're done. Gonna charge, they've never done fractional. They're going to charge uncertified, ungraded, probably three hundred dollars. Jesus. Oh, they're going to sell every single one of them, and then they got to be graded, and then you got to get the seventies, and then there's a million people, or two million people, or five million people. I had calls from major dealers that said, "We will buy all ten thousand. You don't have to sell a single." So I said, "Well, that's really not the point." <laughs> okay. I kind of have this reputation. Uh, yeah, I and I got this thing uh, with HSN, Annex First Day of Issue. <laughs> it's the only place you can get. It. Any annex first day of issue, not only just this. So <coughs> this is the first time this has ever happened. This is the first time this has ever happened. We had we've That's waited so for literally ten years for the government to not quite seven years since they first mentioned this. We've waited every single solitary year, every single solitary year for them to make this frat. Everybody wants this. This is a silver dollar, a silver dollar, a silver dollar, a silver dollar. We denominated all of them in one dollars. So you have a tenth ounce silver dollar, a quarter ounce silver dollar, a half ounce silver dollar, and a one ounce silver dollar. You got a couple ounces of silver in there, but that is virtually meaningless to the value. The value of this is it's the very first time, and we did it in reverse proof. If the United States government did these in reverse proof, they'd do probably 50,000 reverse proof. Jeez, and then so limited. Okay, 50,000, and those would be 2,000, 3,000. I mean, like I said, the, the, the gold buffalo set, and admittedly it has 1.74 ounces of gold in it, is still a $20,000 set. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, $20,000 wow. set. So subtract the four grand for the gold, it's still $16,000 in premium. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, with, a, with a mintage not unsimilar to this. Uh, uh, so, so what we've got is this. It is the single hottest thing in the coin market today. <laughs> there is absolutely no doubt about it. And I have done some of these, and we have, you know, I've had some exclusive distributors. I'm not going to sell all 10,000 sets here because there's people that need to sell them, you know, uncertified, and ungraded. But Annex first day of issue only here. Oh my God. Only here, only now. We aired it one other time. Of course time. you would do this. Yeah. Like I'm just thinking, this is Mike Mezak right here <laughs> saying, you know what? I'm going to make this happen one way or another. We have to make it happen because, first of all, the United States Mint is so far. But you know what they've released this year? No. A Silver Eagle. That's it. Get out of here. You know, I think they're about to release, like, some of the dollar coins. But in terms of silver, the proof Silver Eagle's not out. It's not going to come out until March. No way. It's usually out I of January. The they proof can't was make out. anything. There's oh, no. nothing that the United States Mint is making. This is the set that we begged them to make, that we asked them to make, so we did it. And if fantastic. Now, understand, it is 100% legal tender. It is 100% legal tender. Fiji counter stamp, but it is legal tender. So understand. And the obverse design is absolutely, I mean, the Mint wishes they could do that good. I can tell you, it's it's gorgeous. I don't know if we can go in really tight. Which one should we go in tight on? Let's, let's I'm do the little you, one because nobody's ever seen that. It's beautiful. Absolutely so, stunning. So when you do something in small, in, in small detail, that's where it's really wow. hard to do. Look at that coin. Plus to eat that small and get 70, right? So it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely stunning. That is so gorgeous. It is. And here's the thing. So $4.99 for Annex First Day of Issue is wholesale. This is the original issue price. You can't get any cheaper. This will be sold, resold in the marketplace for more than $499. I can absolutely, positively, 100% guarantee it. Now, did you hear that? Understand how important that is. That is going <laughs> to happen. It yeah. is probably already happening. We still have some, so you can still get it for $499. Right. But the second I sell these out, $599, $699, $799, I don't know. Right, right. You know, I don't know. And it you'll be never cheap. be done again. Yeah. Like when this is done, it's done, it's done. Yeah, right? yeah. One, 749, that's it. Done, gone over. Each set individually numbered. R oh, Each they are. Guarantee. Yeah, well, of course. That annex first day of issue, that's one of the things we did. So this right here is set number six. <laughs> so this is set number six. So not only is it 749, 
but they're all certified perfect as well. Right. So, and as numismatic coins, as, as, as legal tender coins, you know, the fact is, is they have to be certified. Uh, the higher the grade, the more they're worth. So it's okay. not only the four coins, it's not only 100% exclusive, but they're perfect as well. That is so Obverse cool. Reverse and reverse. Okay, update, 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 guys. Here we go. Um, remember, going into this presentation, he had already sold about half the quantity when we really think about it. So Just pretty much half the quantity was gone in one single airing. Right. This very well could be the very last time you'll see it. Well, today will be. I have a well, show tonight right could here. Be. <laughs> well, I have 3 p.m. And I have 9 p.m. I don't think it's going to last through 9 p.m. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to last through 9 p.m. As a matter of fact, we were all looking at it. Now, someone says, so when you call in on this, I think we have like an advanced shipping. And, and here's the reason. U.S. Customs, if you're listening, I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging you to in release the morning. my 10 pounds. My 10 <laughs> they ounce. have them? They have them. Oh, no. <laughs> but the good thing about Mike, he's guaranteed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, You'll they're, get them. Don't worry. They're coming in. They're, they're, it's not They'll a problem. Be, that's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> they won't let them go, huh? <laughs> well, no. It's just they, well, they want to inspect them. Oh, right, I mean, right, you know, right. they're just doing their job. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, it's not like it. in, there's nothing nefarious <laughs> or anything like that or, <laughs> sure. or that. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff coming in the United States, and they want to make sure it's all legit. That's funny. So, I mean, you know, so we got this one. We got this when we got this and we're waiting on the last box of these. Oh, this, this is what we're waiting on right here. And I have some of these. You know, I have most of these. I yeah. have one box left, okay? <laughs> so, it's like, let but it go. the little ones, so one box is like a lot of coins. Yeah, that is so true. Like 5, a lot of silver coins, coins. Okay? yes. <laughs> so I really want those coins. No, don't come here. It's not a problem. Uh, like I said, they're just doing their job. But, but, but again, here's what's so cool about when you tune into the show. That's what makes this so exciting, you know, is you just get these really cool opportunities to get, well, okay, think about all the coins made mm -hmm. in all the world, yet yada yada do the whole massive amount i mean how really incredibly rare is this when you really think about it it's 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 like, ridiculously like, rare right and then what we've done is we've carried on this theme because here's what's going to happen hopefully based on this we will kind of give the United States Mint the shove that they that they apparently need and they will start making these next year in which case we won't have to Right, see, right. See, see, they're going do it. to make a they'll fractional silver eagle set. Someday. Absolutely, positively, 100%, someday. someday they're going to make a fractional silver right. eagle set. Where and it will be wild the when first, it's launched. It's going to be insane. And, and people say, well, how do you know that? In 2009, the United States Mint did not make a proof silver eagle. They just didn't have enough silver hmm. because of the silver boom, the recession, the whole thing. There's a person who took those silver eagles, and he had old U.S. mint presses. Proof, remember, is the way they strike the coin. So he took regular silver eagles and proofed them. So in other words, made them proof by re-stamping the coin. Is that legal? Well, because he then he put his initials on it, D.C., to, to differentiate it. So, okay, I did this extra work to the coins. Okay. So the mint was like, oh, we don't know. And he did, I don't know, several thousand of the coins. Were, Try to find one of those today. Okay, the 2009 Proof Silver Eagle, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it fills in people's collection. Because you had Proof Silver Eagles from 1986 to 2008. There's a gap in 09, so that coin goes in everybody's collection, even with the counter stamp, even though it says right in there, it has a little privy mark, says very clearly on the coin that this has been counter stamped, this has been proofed by a professional, uh, you know, that's an addition to the United States, and it sells for huge premiums in the marketplace. So when the United States government comes out, this will be the first set by type, okay? <laughs> right. Because it will have, it, it'll, it'll have this design. It'll look exactly like this. It'll be way more money than this, but this will be the placeholder. Right. So this will be the first one, and hopefully the government does it next year is what I'm hoping. Right. And then they'll do it from well, here on out. Well, and think about it. Let's say they do it from here on out. Uh, what is going to happen in the long term to this one oh. in terms of its uniqueness? Well, it, first of all, it's going to be far rarer than anything the United States government ever makes, but not even close, by 10 times probably. Right, exactly. 5, 10, 15, 20 times rarer. Right. There's right. no doubt about that. It's going to be significantly less money. Well, right now, it's significantly yeah, less right. money. We're already seeing, like I said, you're going to see this in the next week or so. You're going to see these coins out there, these exact coins. Because Annex First Division, you know where you can buy them? Right here. Only this here. set right here is available one place on the planet, period, at one price on the so planet. So you've got people you know right now who are buying them from us. Hundred, absolutely. And going to turn around and put them out. We sold the, the peace dollars. Remember, last yes. the government made the peace dollars in 2021. 
uh, for the 100th anniversary. They said, we're going to make 2022s. They didn't. We did the same thing with Fiji. We did the Morgan, the Peace Overdome. We sold them here. Those are selling for monster premiums in the marketplace. It's wild. Yeah, uh, they're completely sold out. We did like 5,000 sets. They're gone. They're selling for 100%, 200%. And here we premium. have 749. 749 <laughs> in the first day of issue. Perfect. Because right. like I said, when I say we did, I did 10,000. That's right. total sets, right. not graded or certified or anything like that. And so like after this, I'll bring out some NGC sets. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? And, and, but it's the certified 70. So there's not 10,000 sets that are perfect. There couldn't be. There's far, no, there's way less than that. Unfortunately. And of course, in the first day of issue annex, there's 749. Right. Each one individually numbered to ensure its place in the limited edition, period, period, period. Right. That's just the way it is. And like I said, they're in all the numismatic publications. It is huge, huge, huge monster news. So we started today with about three, 435 left in the edition. So 430. So I'd sold three. 300 the first day. I am, believe I am now down under 400. You sets. are. You're right. actually about 350 left. It's 350 yeah. left. And so this is going to sell out today. Yes. And then once it does, because this is wholesale at $499.95, nobody can pay less. Nobody can pay less at $499.95. And so then what happens is, is the secondary market will take over absolutely positively, 100%. And you can just watch it. You'll right? watch it. I mean, you don't have to, you know. And here's the You'll thing. You'll see it happen. Let's say that doesn't happen. Let's okay. say I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just say after all these years, Mike. after 20, you know, 45 <laughs> years in the business, yeah. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> you have 30 days to send it back, get your money. Back. Well, that's true. That's a great point. Yeah, get it, get it at home and then watch what happens. And that's why we get no returns, because I do know what I'm talking about. Right, okay? right. <laughs> I haven't been doing this here at HSN for almost 25 years by accident. Right. And, and the reason I've done that is we bring you things like this that nobody else on the planet can bring. You. Look, really I could have made cool. this 599. I could have made it 699. I could have yeah, because you sold made it, it. at seven ninety. Like you basically, you made it. We hundred <laughs> percent. The fact of the matter is, that's not the way we do things. The reason I've been here for almost a quarter of a century is I bring you unique products. I give you the opportunity to buy this in ways that no other people can do this. Our VIP financing. Yeah. I Get mean, 12 for a coffee months. a day, you can own this set. Exactly, For 12 right. months. Yep. And not yep. even a fancy dancy coffee. Yeah. I'm talking about like a regular coffee. Right, yeah, not a fancy coffee. <laughs> not a fancy coffee. <laughs> I mean, you can, you In can fact, get crazy you know, stuff. In fact, just so you know, if you get the HSN card, Q card, Zulily card, it's 12-month VIP financing, $41.66 per month gets you this set. And, Mike, I love what you said, too. He's got two more airings. I don't think it's going to be in your 9 o'clock. If there's any <laughs> left in the 9 o'clock. Well, this is my first airing in the 1 a.m. hour. Right. I, so last week I sold well, it. Well, what time was it on last time? The uh, first time you heard it. It was 5 p.m. on a Saturday. Okay, 5 p.m. And you've got two more shows today. I got a 3 p.m. show today and I got a 9, 9 p.m. show yeah. today. I would 100%. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting this set, do not wait. And we do. We have dealers that watch the show all the time. Oh, yeah. We know they tune in and they've heard about it. Obviously, you said it's been written up in magazines. Mike's done something that's really extraordinary. They're buying multiple sets right now because they know what's happening as well. So here's your chance to jump in and grab it. And as Mike mentioned, you've got 30 days. Watch what happens out there. And if nothing happens whatsoever, you send it back, we refund your money, everybody's happy, there you go. But Mike has an incredible track record. In fact, he is such a, a good analytical person that <laughs> they literally have. You have charts after charts after charts of years of trends of what happens in the coin world. I can't even imagine what my office I wish someday like. you would like take pictures and post <laughs> them or something. Oh no, because it's really not as organized as you'd think it is. Okay, okay. got it. It's <laughs> stacks of papers and I got, you know, I got coin publications this tall in the corner. Do you know where I'll, everything is? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> I'll go with 70%. Okay, good, okay. good. I got to dig through there. When did I, I saw that article? It was about two years ago. Okay, <laughs> let's say, right, say, so we're going That's this, great. we're looking at those types yeah. of things. So like the next item that we're going to sell, I had to go back and do a little research for that. I got like all these computer screens that are going on. I got charts and graphs and I got, you know, yeah. and then we, you know, we got our retail comparisons. So I got books and books and books of these retail comparison pricings that I had for the Sacagawea Golden Dollar. And my assistant, he's got Excel spreadsheets from here till <laughs> Tuesday for right. everything. So it's all about that. Right. And that's what this set is all about. Look, look. <laughs> I, I wished I was selling this for $3,000 and, and the U.S. Mint had done this. If the U.S. Mint does it, this is a three or $4,000 set yeah. probably, somewhere in there. Two to $4,000, let us call it. But they didn't. 
So we made it even rarer, still made it perfect, still made it exclusive, made it exactly like the, matter of fact, when they first got, the grading companies first got this, they, oh, we can't grade that. I mean, you know, it's, it's exactly the American Silver Eagle. I go, look at the back, they go, okay, we're good. Oh, so how funny. The so they were a little freaked out about it. Well, because it. this is perfect. Yeah. This is perfect. Like it's perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. This right here, though, we clearly defined. I mean, it says Fiji here and it has the Fiji counter stamp on it. It's fine. And we did the heraldic design. This Why did you choose that? This is the first time this has been done. That was the first design of the American Oh, that's kind of cool. Like so an homage we, we to the original That's right, a nod, to, a nod to history. You Sounds know cool. how we are in numismatics, you know. We're, we're <laughs> You're very stodgy. Softies. You're softies. You no, know, we're stodgy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with stodgy. At the fun show. <laughs> yeah, that's right, at the fun show. It's not as fun as you think it is, yeah. except for us. Exactly. And so you look at this, and so we did this set, the set that the United States government should have made, that we hope that they'll make, but they didn't. So this will be the placeholder. That's this really is cool. be the set that everybody once it's the first set that's a fractional. Remember, they do it in gold. Right, every year, right? Every year, and we sell it for, what did oh. they sell it for this year? Oh, geez. $6,000 yeah, or something no, like that, really, sold out. Yeah, and you, they usually do just you know, a 50, they do, the what is it? The 25, the 10, and the five. The five, yeah, the 50, the 25, the 10, and the five. We did all of these. Sell out all the time, <coughs> every time. In $1. So they're all dollars. That's kind of cool. Silver dollar, silver dollar, silver dollar, silver dollar. Just different dollar. amounts. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just different amounts of silver in it. Right. So we've got this, and, it's feet, and everybody is, is just scrambling for these. They're certified perfect. There's 749 available exclusively, one place and one place only, on the entire planet right here at HSN. That's You've got to take advantage of these. We'll sell out today. Let me so ask I have you a question. the 3 p.m. show and the 9 p.m. show. They're never going to last. I don't think it'll make it till 9. But let me ask you this question, too. Are people... When people hear about this worldwide, because you know coin collectors who collect there, yeah. this world, you know really do know about the American Silver Eagle story. It's the most popularly collected silver coin in the in, world. In the world, will Anything that, that will that the put the energy behind this? Will be just incredible. Uh, I get calls from European dealers. Do you really? I get call, I, hey, can I buy a thousand sets? Can I buy five hundred <laughs> sets? Can I distribute it exclusively in Germany? We were just at the Berlin show, you know, and, really? and, and yeah, and it's like no. You can you can call into HSN again. You can buy it here. Yeah. You, you do whatever you, you and do. And remember, you want. you're getting the best deal you ever see on it. Right. It cannot be less than this, $4.99, right. because this is the original HSN price on the annex for numbered first day of issue. The only place you can get is right here. 100% right. exclusive to us here at HSN, period. You can't buy it anyplace else. You can't buy it anyplace else. Once they sell it, I'll try to put together an NGC exclusive set of some kind, mm -hmm. and then that's that. Right. I've already said, have deal, literally, I'll have someone call me tomorrow and said, I'll take whatever you have left. I said, no. How many times can I say no? I'll take 10,000. No, you can't have, you can't have it. It's basically, it's already, it's already been spoken for. That's Get wild. yours. It will sell out today, today. folks. It yeah. will sell out today. I have two, I think we sold 100 sets or so here, right here, yeah. right now, maybe 1 a little more. 47 in the morning on the East Coast. Yeah, right. yeah, I mean, you know, that again, get it in your cart and go ahead and get it ordered and, and go to complete the process. You don't want somebody to jump in and get it from you, so you just want to get the whole thing done. And remember, you have 30 days. And trust me, you know, when you hear Mike say these kinds, especially when he gets very, very enthusiastic about it, um, and again, he's always telling you the real deal, just understand that's what he knows is going to happen. So you've got 30 days to prove him wrong is really what, what it is. 30 days to prove you wrong. Right. Right? And, and send it back. Yes, yeah, send it back. No problem. I'll in just fact, sell it. I'll in just... fact, he'll be really happy because sure. then he can sell them to somebody back. else for a lot more. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's keep rolling with this. Hey, by the way, if you... What did you say, Rick? I have... Oh, my God. <laughs> um, my producer's like, you know what goes with coins? Vitamins. I don't know. Mike, do you take vitamins? Yes. Okay, good. There you go. Vitamins. You do? You take Andrew? Sure. What do you take? Why wouldn't you? Do you mind me asking? I don't know. It goes in my pill caddy. Oh, did you see? <laughs> good stuff. What, 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 what are my wife puts in there? I take, I, I do the vitamin I, D. I, I actually trust do. her that much. I think. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, wow. <laughs> you guys got a great marriage. You might want to look and see <laughs> exactly what she's putting in there. Um, anyway, no, I take vitamin D from Andrew, too. Uh, if you'd like to see all Andrew's vitamins, check him out. He's got a huge amount of vitamins for a lot of different reasons and parts and pieces. So check it out on hsn.com. We've got free shipping on all vitamins and of course supplements and it's a great great line okay so this next one because i am very much a history buff i love history my husband and i both love history and i think this is such a fascinating story behind it so walk us through this i've never ever ever heard you talk about this before well i've occasionally sold these sets every now and then There's, really? and they come in sets so i did like three years of these okay the united states government during world war ii at some point Nickel became more valuable than silver. 
because we needed it for shell casings. So the United States Mint started making nickels out of silver. Now, they knew that that would only continue for World War II. So not only did they make the nickels out of silver, they put this huge, monstrous mint mark over the top of uh, Mon Monticello right there. See, if we get in we go, right you over guys it, see, there's a tighter? big monster D, the hugest, biggest mint mark they've ever put on a coin. <laughs> so they could pick them out and get their silver back after the war. Oh, funny, so they could recognize So they get their silver back and melt oh, them. Oh, it is see a it? giant see D. It? It's monstrous. See wow. how big that D is? The P was on there and the S was on there, okay? So they did these for several years. Now, here's the thing. We ran across a guy at the fun show. You did, in Orlando. Now, when was that? Tell everybody when it so was. Well, that was several weeks ago. Yeah, right. But recently. That had original bags of the, and these are the bags. Come on, from World War II? 1943, Denver, and you can see it says five cents these are the original. And they were $50 $50, so there's a nickel $50, $50. So you can see there was a fair number of coins. I How bought cool them all. What is that? Look, and they're so dirty. And so what I have here is, and I sent them all in to NGC to have them certified. Wow. And look at the grading that I had. This one is Mint State 66. So better than Gem Brilliant Uncirculated. So look at this. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to move that so that I can turn this. Certified Mint State 66, uh, $59.95. I just want to uh, show this for just a second because then I have some Mint State 67s that I want to show you next. I want to give you, so this is the low end at $59.95. Okay. I'm going to spend a few more minutes here uh, after we have this 30 seconds that are up here. So I have the Mint State 67s, which is like one of the highest grades in existence. Have you ever seen one of, of these, these in 70? Uh, no, no, there's no 70s. Just, there's no there's way. There's no 70s. I don't think there's any 69s either. Really? A nickel, nickel just doesn't, just doesn't grade. It's very hard to strike. Were you super excited when this guy had these? We, we, just like, what this the got, heck? See, this is the kind of thing 40 years ago you saw a little bit of. Right. You just don't see this anymore. Like how many years has it been since you've seen somebody have a big old bag of these? Oh, this has been years and years and years and years since I've done this. See, now this is a sealed bag. Is it still sealed? That's the original seal? Yeah, you can <gasps> see right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. The Look at that, you guys. The coins are still in this one. That is so Cool. Okay, from nineteen and literally nineteen forty-three. So this is why there's no mint state seventies. Yeah, because they're rumbling this around. Is the in way, there. This is the way you do. So it. were you surprised that you were able to get any sixty-six yeah, and, and sixty-seven? Sixty-sevens. There's not many sixty-sevens. There's more sixty-sixes. Yeah. But I have some mint state sixty-sevens at ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents out of the original bags. That's really cool. And I really thought I'd, I don't do this a lot, but I brought the bags in because I just think they are absolutely so one hundred percent cool to see the original the original bags, Denver. Now, so they did these for three years. These war nickels for three years. Okay. <clears throat> the rarest of all the war nickels is the 1943D. Why? So they made the fewest of them. Oh, okay, got it. That's the rarest. That is so, so cool. They made the fewest of the 1943, so you can see it's 1943, and then there's the big monster D on the reverse. Wow. So this is basically as high a grade that there is. I think if there's there's some Min State 68s out there, but they're probably thousands of dollars. Right. So, right. but Min State 67s, in all honesty, because of the bag deal we found, this was probably a $200, $300 coin relatively recently, but the price has come down because we graded, we graded, literally we found the original bags. Right. And so we got, it's, it's oh, the only so way you can get. Oh, so there's some more out there. There's some more out there now huh. because they didn't exist. I mean, how many of these exist out there yeah. in the world in original bags like that? Who knows? This is absolutely. Did you buy everything he had? Of course. <laughs> Instantly. Can you have any more? Do you have any other dates? He says, <laughs> I just have these. Uh, some lady walked in with him, walked oh, into a store. Oh, you're kidding yeah. me. Had him, her husband must have bought him during the war and put him away and he passed and get rid of his stuff. That's amazing. That really is a great story. Isn't that spectacular? It's very Mid cool. State 67. Wow. Okay. And then I absolutely love it. Certified NGC, absolutely stunningly high grade. Silver nickels. So when people go, well, they don't make nickels out of silver. They did during the war because, because they, were, they were more valuable. Uh, uh, silver was less valuable than nickel. Well, that's amazing to me. All right, guys, and by the way, we have three flex pays on it. This is the very first time you're actually seeing it on the air. You guys are the first ones to get your hands on it. And again, you know, he didn't bring in 10,000 of these, trust me. <laughs> Especially 
Oh, he, uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, I wish I could. I, well, you wish you could, right? Most of the coins did not grade 66 or 67, by the way. Really? Most, they, most of them were fours, fives. Oh, no kidding. Uh, and by the way, um, $99.95, both have three flex pays and they're both brand new. Oh, I'm excited to see this. I'm always excited when we do any of the fine last silver time. Morgan bars. I, really? Last show, I had the final primetime presentation. Okay. And now this is the final uh, final presentation. Final look. Yeah, final yeah. look. This because it's not prime time. Uh, for everybody to do this, we want to give our great viewers here at 1 a.m. or 1.54 a.m. Eastern the very last look. This is our exclusive. I'm the exclusive. I made these bars. Again. I love these. This is I, one of my I, favorites that you've done. And this is, look. And you know why I made this? Because of you guys. Literally because of being here, I listened to what you have to tell me. And people said, look, you're selling a lot of silver bars. Here's what I want. I want a silver bar that's, what's the best way to describe it? Beefy. Yes. <laughs> okay, 50 grams. It's almost two ounces. Not quite. A little short of, a little short of two ounces. So it's a nice bar. You know, uh, 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 well over an ounce, obviously. I want it collectible. So I put the Morgan silver dollar design, the most, the most American uh, uh, design, I think, of any coin that's out there. I mean, that is the hallmark of it. I then dated the bar. <laughs> Bars are rarely dated to make it collectible by year as well. And then I serial numbered the bar. That's nice. 5,000 bars. It is now, after this, a complete and total sold out limit. The 2022s are gone. So I am in process of trying to start making the 2023s. Okay. We'll do another 5,000 bars of the 2023s. We've sold them basically all right here. I have, what do we have left in here? 300 or 400? 257. 257. <laughs> 257. That's what's left in we the We probably edition. had 400 a couple hours ago. <laughs> yeah, we could have. We Everybody could've. jumps so, online ahead so of the show. So it's $99. <laughs> and here's the thing. So silver is in shortage right now. So we are in what's called silver deficit. So between 15 to 20 million ounces a month of silver, we are using more of that industrially and in bars and coins than is being mined or refined in the entire world. So it is being pulled out of depositories around the world, Comex and other places, mm -hmm. to make up this deficit. Physical silver is very difficult to get. I think it is vastly underpriced in the marketplace, my opinion, my opinion only. The gold-silver ratio, which traditionally runs between 30 and 60, 60 is currently closer to 80. No kidding. Uh, yeah, Jeez. so you, you've got that with it. Physical silver is getting harder. It is being used more. Your phone has silver in it. Uh, uh, solar panels have silver in it. Anything electronic has silver in it. Little tiny bits of it. Not enough to refine to get back. It's lost forever. That's why we're in deficit. Mm -hmm. So I made these. So people said, I want them collectible. So that's why I put this design on it, and I want it exclusive, and I want it numbered. And I put all those things together, and I like the little $500 bill that's carded here, and it goes with the assay certificate, and the assay certificate matches the serial number on the bar that you have right there. Well, you there. also do this because people are trying to get their hands just on silver. 100%. They don't necessarily want to get coins. Not, they don't want the collectability. They just want silver. And not only do you just want silver, but you want something that's collectible, something right. that's desirable, something that you want to pass down from generation to generation, something that's fungible, transactable, right. and at 50 right. grams, it's a transactable size. You know, if you ever get to a point where you got to bust it out of here, and I hope that's not the case, then you know, <laughs> uh, then, then it is that. You know, some you know, we sell the kilo bars; those are fantastic. Yeah, you know, if they're you wanna, huge. Down the road, you know, want to buy a car or something. You know? Yes, yeah. But, but if you want to buy a loaf of bread, I, you know, you're shaving it off. I guess I don't know how you work that out. <laughs> uh, uh, but this right here at 50 grams, like I said, almost two ounces. They are 100% exclusive to me. I made all 5,000. Bars. And FYI, why we still have available, if you've got anybody who has a big event, a graduation, a wedding, an anniversary, it is, to me, one of the coolest gifts you can give anybody. It's unexpected. It's really different. It's 100 bucks basically. So if you've got and you want to really mark that occasion beautifully, it could be a really significant birthday. It could be a graduation from high school to college, college to the working world. It could be somebody's birthday. I think this is a, the coolest gift, especially 100%. for guys, because guys are really hard to buy for. So if you can you imagine hitting somebody? a silver bar they'll be like okay that's the coolest thing i've ever gotten mm -hmm. and uh, flex pay no shipping and handling yeah. the whole thing we make it easier to Free buy than anybody yeah. else yeah like, the thing i hate is you know you go to buy silver well here's my here's my credit card they go well we're gonna have to give you a convenience fee yeah, right. i hate to get i don't know who that's convenient for it's not convenient <laughs> for you i promise you it's five <laughs> right. or six or seven percent so another five or six or seven or eight dollars whatever that is and shipping and then, oh i want i want flex pay yeah. and then i want free shipping and handling and i want a 30-day money back guarantee
see this? Yeah. Just get out of here. Yes, I'm not even. Don't. Wasting my time. Won't even do that. But we do. We do all of that all while of they're that. available. These are also a sellout quantity for today. Mm -hmm. So again, Mike's on they two won't more be times. In the shows. This is they're not even on. Oh, this is the only They've airing. I got a ton time. of you I know on the line right now for it. Again, I think it's just great for so collecting just you know, buying silver, but also I think it's a phenomenal gift idea. Really think about that. Instead of flowers or some kind of dumb, dumb gift, give them silver. I mean, it's got inherent great value in it. All right, Mike, we will see you at three o'clock East Coast time and 9 p.m. is your final show. Correct. Cool, all right, we'll see you then, guys. Don't forget, please check out my HSN Facebook page. Then you'll find out all the other stuff I have going on, both on Facebook Live and of course off the air as well. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you Sunday evening. So stick around, we've got more coming up. In fact, a repeat of our today's special.